Welcome to Unspoken. It's a brand new day and it's a brand new year to the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to go back to our Hebrew roots today. And we're going to look at the Torah portion for this week. And I thought it was quite interesting. So we're going to delve into that and see how we can uh, glean some things to, to make our spiritual walk successful. Okay. So let's go to um, Deuteronomy chapter 8, Deuteronomy chapter 8, and the name of this Torah portion is Ekev, oh Jesus, Ekev, and, and, and it means, it means two things, remember now that a Hebrew word, a Hebraic word can mean, has more than one meaning, so this one means, Ekev means because, and it means heal in Hebrew, so let's look at Deuteronomy, and the, uh, Deuteronomy in Hebrew means words, okay? So we're going to look at, we're going to read Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 2 through 5. The word of the Lord says this, And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and test you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. Verse 3, So he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man, listen, that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Verse 4, your garments did not wear out on you, nor did your Foot swell with these 40 years. Okay, verse 5. You shall know in your heart that as a man chastens his son, so the Lord your God chastens you. So what we're so what the Lord is saying here is what Moses is saying, because Moses is the is the writer of Deuteronomy. What he's saying, he's going over everything that happened to the children of Israel when they left uh Egypt. And so he's going over that. He's reiterating that. He's letting them know what miracles God performed for them because, oh, Rabbi Shandiosa, because they were his children. Hallelujah. So let's look at verse 1. And, and verse 1 says, And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness, what? To humble you and test you to know what was in your heart whether you would keep his commandments or not. We see now, oh Jesus, we see where this because comes in. Listen, he wants to test our oh Rabasha. He wanted to test their hearts because he wanted to know what was in their hearts. Listen, uh, uh, so, when, oh Jesus, so when we're going through a test, we must remember that it is a test. And, and so we determine how long the test is. Why? Because he wants to know what's in your heart. He wants you to know what's in your heart. Why? Because he wants you to know, oh Jesus, his mercy. Why? Because he wants you to know that he still loves you. So he's testing your heart. He wants you to know what your heart looks like. So Moses is reminding them of how the Lord took care of them in the desert. And so when you're going through a trial, you don't always, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't always remember, hallelujah, how God has kept you. Because the trial can be so intense that you can't remember. But Moses said, I need, oh Jesus, I need you to remember, hallelujah. So listen, listen. Listen, that he, verse 2, that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So what does that mean? Ah, that meant, you know, uh, Jesus quoted this to Satan 
when he was uh, up on the pinnacle, up on the mountain, when he was fasting for 40 days. He said, listen, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So what does that mean? That means that, I do shy, yeah, that means that we we have to know that we're not doing things in our own, in our own, in our own strength. But we're doing things because of who he is. Ah, because of who he is in our life. So we will know that we didn't do it ourselves. But that the God that we serve was the one, Dadi Diosha, giving divine intervention so that we could meet our goals, so that we could meet our destiny. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So listen, listen. Uh, let's, let's look at Genesis uh, chapter 25, verses 24 through 26. So when her days were fulfilled for her to give birth, we're talking about Rebecca, indeed there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red, he was like a hairy garment all over, so they called him Esau. Afterwards his brother came out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, okay, his heel, so his name was called Jacob, oh Jesus. So now look, Jacob is called the heel grabber. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Help me. Help me, Holy Ghost. Jason, uh, Jacob is called the heel grabber. So when he comes out of his mother's, Rebecca's womb, he is grabbing the heel of, of his brother. So now let's go back. Oh, Rabbi Kashaya. Listen, my Bible students will know the story of how Jason, uh, Jason, that's my son, Jacob, uh, tricked uh, Abra, uh, Isaac. Jacob tricked Isaac so that he could get the blessing, right? And so, oh Jesus, but it, so that so that he could get the father's blessing. And when he when he tricked Isaac, he had to leave. So so being listen. So when he oh Rabbi Kashaya. So then at the end of Jacob's life, at at, at the end of of his of this season in his life, he went. Listen, what he did. He was tri he he had to leave his family. Because Esau wanted to kill him. So he had to leave his family. Listen. Then he went and he met Rebecca. And so Rebecca was Laban's daughter. And so he thought he was going. He worked seven years for Rebecca. Rebbe Koshaya. And, and then he married Aaliyah. And so then he had to work another seven years. So he could get Rebecca. Hallelujah. So, so, um. Uh, then when it came time for him to leave, oh Jesus, it came time for him to leave Laban, Laban, Rebecca takes one of her father's gods and it makes Laban pursue, oh Jesus, pursue Jacob because he wanted his God back. Okay, read the Bible. It's in Genesis. So when we get to this place, oh Jesus, what we have is that Jacob, when we see Jacob, when we see his name, we, we, we need to know that that is an encounter. Jacob was the one who had an encounter with the, with the angel of the presence. Hallelujah. So, so when we see that at the end of Jacob's season, when he was old, when it was time for him to leave Laban, he goes and I do shy. He places his head on a rock and the and he goes to sleep and the angel the angel of the Lord, Rabbi Kashaya, he puts him to sleep and he wrestles, oh Jesus, he wrestles with his brother Esau. The sages say it is his brother Esau that he's wrestling with. But what is he wrestling with? He's wrestling with his pain. Hallelujah. So we have to wrestle with our pain in order to get victory over our pain. We must wrestle, wrestle over the things that keep you from being what God has called you to be. Learn how to wrestle with your pain. And as 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 Jacob wrestled with his pain, and as the sun was coming up, he said, wait a minute. He said, wait a minute. What, what you going to do for me? And what happened, his name was changed. And so his name was changed from Jacob to Prince of God. Ah, so, mm. so listen, he's no longer the heel grabber. <laughs> He's now named the Prince of God. So when you wrestle with your pain, hallelujah, you come out on the other side with a new name, hallelujah. So now, it took, ah, this is where the heel comes in. It took a step of faith, ah, for 
for, for Jacob to leave Laban and to go back and confront his pain, to go back and confront his brother. It took a step of faith. So, but, and then listen, what happens as Jacob is wrestling with his pain? What happens? He finds acceptance because he he didn't have acceptance from his father. He, uh, uh, he didn't have acceptance from his father Isaac. So he finds acceptance. He finds what he's looking for as he's wrestling with his pain. He said he tells the he tells the angel, "I'm not gonna let you go." Ah. Uh, Tell you bless me. So you got to wrestle on the old shot. You got to learn how to wrestle with the pain. Wrestle with whatever is keeping you from meeting your destiny, meeting your goal. Learn to wrestle with that on the old shot so that God can change your name. Listen, let's go to Hebrews chapter 11. Because all of this, 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 I'm going through all of this because all of it connects. I'm trying to make a connection here. So I see, I want you to know that you, you can't pick the Old Testament and you can't just say, oh, the Old Testament doesn't matter because it is relevant. Listen, Hebrews chapter 8, chapter 11, verse 8. By faith, oh Jesus, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing. Abraham did not know where he was going. I knew Shia. So listen. So listen, we must walk out our faith. And, oh, Jesus. And you can't walk because your heel is involved. So you got to walk out your faith. We, tell, we take one step of faith at a time and we learn to be obedient to the commandments of the lord hallelujah so so then listen this word this word this word ekev ekev has a numerical value remember we talked about hallelujah that each he uh hebraic number has each hebraic letter has a number oh jesus and so this this word here ekev has a numerical value of 170 Okay, so when we go and we look at the entirety of the Ten Commandments, we when you add all that up, it has a numerical value of 170. So when we walk out our faith, hallelujah, when we walk out our faith, when we obey his commandments, when we go, when we don't know where we're going, hallelujah, we become on the Oshia. We become on the uh, what, what, listen, what Jacob was, Adiosha, a prince of God, Rebbe Kishaya. And then we can say, I didn't do it, but it was God who did it through me. Hallelujah. So listen, learn to honorable Koshaya. Learn to obey him, even when you don't understand it, even when you don't realize where you're going. Because listen, in the spirit realm, you're making progress. You're moving forward, hallelujah. And we want to move forward to reclaim our destiny so we wrestle with our pain to claim our destiny and to claim who we really are listen i love you i bless you in the name of the lord subscribe to us like us shalom shalom